The purpose of the brakes are generally to slow the bike, stop when you need to, and avoid a collision. Oh yeah, I guess, and to do stoppies. On a racetrack or riding on ranges, we use the brakes to help set speed as we enter corners. If the brakes fade with heat or they lack feel, it will be difficult to consistently set speed accurately. So, as a baseline, we went out and ran a braking test on the factory fitted brakes. We did 10 runs braking from 100 km per hour to zero. The factory brakes did actually fade with stopping distance variation around 5 metres. We then fitted the components we obtained from my buddy Joe Salter at Ride Dynamics on the Gold Coast. We replaced the front disc with an NG high iron content racing disc, which is similar to what they run in Moto2. We installed Goodridge Sintered Racing Pads. We swapped out the rubber brake lines for a set of braided lines. No, no not braided lines, braided lines. We also replaced the standard 14mm master cylinder with a 19mm Frando unit, and then filled the system with RBF 700 modal brake fluid. Then. We went back and we ran the same braking test under the same conditions. What did we learn from the testing? Stock braking components resulted in a shorter stopping distance of 42 metres and longest distance of 46 and a half metres. As the brakes got hotter, the distance for stopping got greater. The upgraded brakes that we fitted on resulted in the same shorter stopping distance of 42 metres, however the longest distance was 43 metres, even after 15 runs. The feel was better and the effort required was less. So in summary, we drew these conclusions from the comparison. An upgraded brake system will not stop you in a shorter distance. The benefits that you will experience from, a, from an upgrade like this are these. First, you won't experience brake fade. Second, braking capability will remain more consistent with less variation in performance. Third, there is more feel and the initial grab is much stronger. Fourth less effort is needed to brake and set speed going into corners, so it's less tiring for the rider doing a lot of laps. So that's it. See you in the next video. Safe riding.